God, for the goodness of your love. Thank you, God, for loving us with an unfailing love. Thank you, God, for pouring out your love as a covering over our lives. Thank you, God, for your love being a banner that we can raise up over our lives. Thank you, God, for your love being a foundation we can build our lives on. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know what? In Ephesians 3.19, we've been talking about let the love of God do the lifting in your life, but there's this specific calling to experience that love of Christ. Even though you can't fully understand it, you're called to experience it. And so right now while we're praying and worshiping together, I want you to uh, take a moment to actually do what we've just read about, to experience it. And so while we're praying together, would you just join me right now and say, God, I want a fresh experience of your love in this moment. God, I need a fresh experience of your love in this moment. And right now, I want you to just, while we're praying and worshiping, just ask a question in prayer. And just simply say, Heavenly Father, how do you feel about me? Just ask him that. Heavenly Father, how do you feel about me? And then just listen. What do you sense the Spirit of God saying to you? What do you sense your Heavenly Father saying to you? I'm listening in the Spirit and I hear like catching of whispers of one kind or another and things like this. I hear him saying, I think that you are courageous. I said, I, I, I hear him saying about somebody else, I think that you're rising up with an astounding strength, and I love it. I hear the Lord saying about somebody else right now, I see how much you are concerned, and yet I am so proud of you for continuing to come back to me with a heart of trust. I, I hear the Lord right now saying to somebody, I've got you, and I'm carrying you through this. You can keep on trusting in me. I hear the Lord saying about somebody else, when you ask them the question, as soon as you ask them the question, how do you feel about me? And, and the first thing that you might have heard was not what you thought, because he's loving you in this moment. He's carrying you in this moment. He's bringing a touch from heaven to you in this moment. So God, I pray right now for all of my friends who are experiencing this time together, that right now, Lord, we would be able to experience a supernatural lifting from your love. Not even as a function of us doing anything, but just out of the brilliance of who you are, God. That your love would lift some of us right now who are stuck in a place where we feel a lot of darkness. God, that your love would lift some of us right now who are, uh, who, who are feeling like dark clouds over us. That your love would lift some of us, God, who feel like we're up against a wall and there's no way through it. God, would you love come and lift some of us just right over it. God, we praise you. We honor you. We trust you give you glory and we thank you for the gift of your great love God thank you Lord thank you Lord we love you Lord continue to worship him
God. 
completely deserving of all of our praise, all of our adoration. Even in this season, Lord, we pour out our praise to the one who deserves it. Thank you, King, Savior, Father, and friend. We love you, and we dedicate this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.